So I noticed that my desk area was looking kind of plain, so I thought I would do this super easy DIY fringe photo garland. I actually saw it on Pottery Barn and I was like, I can do that. So I'm gonna show you how to do it today. It's so easy. Let me know in the comments if you would like to see more super simple, easy DIYs like this on my channel, and I will definitely do more for you guys. So to get started, you just wanna take your photos. I actually printed out photos that you guys tagged me in, so it's photos of your nail art recreations from my nail tutorials. Love seeing your recreation. So I found that six was the perfect amount for my garland. If you want a shorter garland, you obviously will just use a couple photos. If you want a super long one, then go ahead and use a lot more photos. So next, you want to take your fringe. This is super cheap to get. I actually bought this silver fringe for about $4 for the whole spool. And then for the gold fringe, it was only about $2 for the entire yard of it. So super cheap. Just want to line it up underneath your photos and cut them down to size. You just want to take some washi tape. I decided to use two different patterns and colors to make it a little bit more fun. This is great to use because you can actually remove it from your photos. It won't damage the photo. So you're just cutting it down to size and cutting the ends off so that it's nice and clean. The tape worked perfectly. It didn't like fall off or anything like that. So I'm super happy. So now I'm just going to go on to my other photos and I'm just alternating the tape that I'm using. You could use any patterns or colors that you would like to. Once all your photos are done, you just want to get some string or some twine like I'm using today to actually string the photos onto. I picked up this pack of mini clothespins for only a couple of dollars from my local craft store. You want to make sure to tie up your string first and then clip the photos on. Definitely don't clip the photos on first and then try to hang them all at once, but I'm just showing you how easy it is to clip them on to your string and it just looks so cute and they are not going to fall down. I just taped my string to the shelf above my computer area and strung it along and I think it looks so cute. It's so fun and perfect for the summertime too. I think it kind of has like a Hawaiian tropical vibe with all of the fringe but I think my desk area looks so cute now so I hope that you guys like this and want to try it out. Remember you can put your photo fringe garland anywhere you want to. It doesn't have to be over your computer. It could just be on your wall, on a mirror, over your dresser, on your bed frame wherever you want to so thank you for watching and subscribing and I'll see you soon